saw a quote yesterday that said you can either bear with the pain of staying how you are or bear with the pain of changing it. But either way, there's gonna be pain. Bitch said that I fucked up. I like finer, finer, finer things in life. I like finer, finer, finer things in life. I like the finer, finer, finer. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Natasha, aka your Sidity cousin. So as y'all can see, I have on my gym attire because. After I edited those videos the last couple days and I saw what I was looking like, which was not a fair representation, let me just issue that disclaimer. Baby girl's bloated and she had been eating fried food this weekend and grits and all kinds of stuff. So that wasn't a real, you know, visualization of what my stomach looked like on a regular. I haven't had anything today. I've been up for a few hours though and I've been working, but um, I'm about to get ready to go to the gym on my lunch break after I have a meeting. And so I wanted to go ahead and um, show y'all what I do to prep before I go to the gym. I'm gonna be using some Sweet Sweat. Um, I love this stuff. I used to use the one with the coconut, but I had to dip my hands in it and I didn't like that. So I ended up getting the one that's um, the stick and I just roll it up and put this all over my stomach. Because let me just keep it a book with y'all. That Chloe Teen workout, I've tried her um, a few times. And honestly, I just don't know if I like it. I prefer to go to the gym and weight lift and call it a day. Like get on my elliptical, do my two, three miles, do some ab workouts. Um, I work on legs a lot, you know, that type of stuff. Just rub that excess off. So now that I'm all greased up with this stuff all on me, I'm going to put my sweet swelt waist belt on and I wrap it pretty tight. As tight as I can. And then I pull it down on my bottom stomach and I pull this one up on the top. Like I have a really short torso. So stuff just be riding up. And that's why it'd be looking weird in like my videos and stuff, but I got this, okay? Y'all gonna see, because all I need to do is go to the gym, run a few miles on the elliptical, and do a little weight lifting, and baby, I'm gonna be snatched, okay? So I pick out a few outfits last night that I'm gonna try on and see what I wanna wear to dinner tonight. Because again, I told y'all today is my cousin's 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Teresa. Um, so we are going out tonight for her dinner, a birthday dinner. And that's why I kept my hair in, my weave in, because I'm like, it's already on a Tuesday. I'm taking my hair down anyway this week since I didn't get to take it down last weekend. I might as well just hold out for a couple more days, go to the function, and then tomorrow I'll go ahead and take my hair down, and then I'll wash um, my hair, I'll wash weave, and get ready to get my hair done this weekend. I can't wait. Oh, gosh. It ain't nothing like that fresh sewing. It's just like, baby. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to go downstairs, hop on this meeting shortly, and then I'll see if I can take you out to the gym with me. I don't know, people be looking at me already and it'd be kind of awkward, so I don't be wanting to bring any other attention to myself. We'll see. All right, y'all, so I need to go get some more of those Celsius workout drinks before I head to the gym, because when I tell you, those help me with my exercise and gives me that endurance that I'd be lacking. So, oh, here they are. Oh, when I bought them last time, they were two for five. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to try a different flavor. I like the, which one was it? Oh, that one. The peach vibe, that one is really good. I'm gonna get that one. I guess I'll just get one since they're not on sale. That sucks. 
Well, there's only two of them left, so maybe I should get both of them. Two for five, at least it'll still be under six dollars, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm doing three miles and I lift for my cardio today. And I got about um, a seventh of a mile to go, but that sausage drink got me hype. So, a little less than 0.7 of a mile, and I've been going for 20 minutes now, and I got my watch on. So, yeah, speed this thing up. All right, so I am done on the elliptical. I did my three miles and I closed my exercise ring. <laughs> but now I think I'm gonna go get on the bike and I might do some abs. Targeting that stomach because baby, I already told y'all I was not happy with what I was looking like. So. I saw a quote yesterday that said you can either bear with the pain of staying how you are or bear with the pain of changing it. But either way, there's gonna be pain. Hey y'all, so I am on the indoor cycle machine now. So I'm going to do about five miles on this one. I did three miles on the elliptical. And so it's about eight miles of cardio. And then I'm gonna go hit the ab crunch machine before I leave. Um, if I have time, I might do the leg press machine, but I don't know, I might be pushing it. So, this has been a good little workout already. As y'all can see, I am sweating, but that Celsius drink got me hype. So, I don't know, I might need to see if Sis can get a sponsorship from them because that peach one is so good and it's limited edition and that sucks, so I need to go ahead and order a case. But I'm going to knock out these five miles and I'm gonna show y'all what my sweatband looks like afterwards, cause baby, I already feel the sweat running down my stomach from my band, but yeah. So it's going good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be snatched one way or another. Sorry, Chloe, it didn't work out. I tried yours. I just gotta go what I know best and what I know to work. I gotta get these Thanksgiving pounds off and some of this quarantine weight because um, we can't always be bloated and use that as an excuse. Sometimes that shit just getting big. <laughs> but ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm definitely not body shaming myself. I love my body. I just know that it should be tired than what it is. So, I'll talk to y'all later. All right, so I just finished my five miles and it took me about 22 minutes. Um, so I guess I'm gonna head downstairs. I didn't do the app crunch machine because there were people over there and since I don't have my mask on just because I don't want to work out and be feeling like I'm suffocating myself. Um, I'm just trying to stay away from people. Our gym does do a good job as far as like isolating like even the lockers and which machines you use, but I just have to be cautious because I don't want to get sick. Um, but y'all can see your girl sweated with her eight miles. So um, I'm about to probably go get me some Chipotle since I haven't eaten for today yet. And then um, I'm gonna do apps at home. So it's so loud in here. I'm glad the radio just went off. But I will update y'all later. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. All right, y'all, Chipotle it is. All right, I'm back from the gym. So I'm about to finish working, eat my Chipotle and um, 
I'm gonna shower when I finish and start getting ready for tonight. I'm gonna just have to make my hair do what it do um, because I'm taking it down tomorrow so I can get one more little hairstyle out of this hair and then I'll take it out. But I had a good workout. I did eight miles of cardio, so that was really good. Y'all saw all that sweat dripping from my body. So yeah, I'm gonna try to keep up with it and at least go three days a week like I was doing before. Um, I just got turned off from the gym because like on TV, the news, they were saying like the gym is like the number one place at one point to contract COVID. And I was just like, oh baby, no. I already don't be wanting to go. And now y'all talking about I can get COVID. I'm good. No, thank you. So, um, I'm about to eat this Chipotle. And I have to eat my Chipotle with the vinaigrette dressing. Other than that, I will walk off. I will have them make my entire bowl. And when I get to the cash register, if they tell me they don't have the dressing, I'm not eating it. Thank you. Sorry you wasted your time making it, but y'all should have had dressing. I literally had to do that like two weeks ago. They didn't have it, and I was pissed because I was so hungry, and I wanted to eat healthy that night. Like, I wanted a salad, but they um, they didn't have any vinaigrette dressing, so I was like, well, I guess Chick-fil-A it is. <laughs> Those are the main two restaurants I, I eat at. Chick-fil-A Bay and Chipotle Bay. <laughs> Those are my two options. That's why we moved over here, to be completely honest. It's a Starbucks, a Chick-fil-A, and a Chipotle up the street. Oh, and a Target. And I was like, hmm, sounds perfect. That house. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to dig into this and I will check in with y'all later per usual. Okay, y'all, so it's time for me to start getting ready. So I need to revive my hair. So this is the last day I'm wearing it. I'm gonna just spray some dry shampoo in it so that it can look a little more lifelike and dry some of that oil up and brush that through. And then I'm gonna take my comb and comb all my leave out. So we're going to a place called Barcelona Wine Bar and I've never been before, so it should be cool. I gotta hurry up. I'm so slow, I don't know why. I be trying to get it together. I do not like to put heat on my hair when my hair is dirty, but for the sake of my cousin's birthday, I wanted to make my hair last one more night because it's like either I would put heat on it for my leave out for one night or I would end up washing all of my hair and straightening it. And this is edge control, it's not gel. Got our edges laid. We got our edges laid and now it's time to press this hair out real quick.
All right, y'all, so my hair is done. I just pinned it back with these clips so that I could do my makeup. And then um, I'm gonna pull all the curls out after I finish and I get dressed so that they can like fall a little bit and be um, more full. Cause I curled it pretty tight so that I can fluff them out. So I had already um, put toner on my face and this is the Dior foundation. I had already put toner on my face and um, moisturizer. And this foundation is not super full coverage. So I'm just gonna use this. We're not gonna be out for a long time. So there's no need in me putting on the Estee Lauder um, foundation, which is my all time favorite. Since I have oily skin, but the point of me toning my face with the Ole Henriksen um, toner, which is oil control, was to dry the excess oil out my face. And then the moisturizer I used was for oily skin, so it does not have oil in it. So I should be good for the night. I should. But we, sh we shall see. We shall see.
real fall vibes okay time to get dressed and i'll show y'all my final fit the perfume i'm wearing and we out all right y'all so this is the final fit i have this cute little tennis necklace on and my studs i'm wearing my louis vuitton purse cute little jumpsuit my cognac boots to match and yeah so this is what we're wearing um i went with the brown lips since it is nighttime and it is fall almost winter my hair looked good just fluff my curls out a little bit pull them out And for tonight's perfume, I'm going to be wearing the Tom Ford um, Vanille Fatale. And I'm just going to bathe in this because I'm not going to bathe in it because um, it's very long lasting and a little bit goes a long way. So this is the final look and it looks adorable. I'll talk to y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed Vlogmas today. Today is what? Day seven? Day eight? I think. What's today's day? Day eight. Today is day eight. So I hope y'all enjoy Vlogmas Day 8. I will try to get some footage from the actual restaurant, but we'll see. All right, I gotta go. I'm running late. Bye. What's happening? But yeah, serving the girls tonight. It's a real cute vibe. I'm enjoying it, so I didn't get to finish um, editing and uploading day seven, obviously, because I have stuff to do tonight, but. I'm going to get day 7 and day 8 up tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> I'm going to try to promise. Okay, talk to y'all later. I hope y'all enjoy. Bye. Oh, God. I hope y'all enjoy day 8 of Y'all go out and get y'all an old-fashioned. Ask for a bee's knees, too, if they can make it. If they're competent enough to make it, ask for a bee's knees. If not, I'm sure they know how to make an old-fashioned. Okay, thank you, Sir Blackwell. But I hope y'all enjoyed day eight of Vlogmas, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.